All right, let me give the answer away. Obviously, this object to my right exists. There it is. I made it. Uh, so let's, let's examine it first to get a sense of how I make it. Let's actually really look closely at it. Well, look, look at it. Clearly, there are cr uh, strands crossing each other. In fact, I might count them. Like, that's the only thing I think to do. Let's count the strands. That, how many crossings? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six crossings in this object. And I suppose I could probably argue that has to be the case if I thought about things like uh, this leftmost strand obviously attached to the left, and whatever it does when it weaves through must end up back at the left position. So you see there's going to be some restriction on how many times it needs to cross over to get back to the start. Ditto the middle strand must end up back in the middle, the rightmost strand back at the right. So actually there's going to be some mathematical restrictions on how many crossings there need to be. Turns out six the magic number, in fact I can just see it's right there, six does the trick. Six crossings brings each strand back to its original position. I suppose I could do another six crossings, have a total of 12, and so on. But six is there. All right, so knowing there's going to be six crossings, let's use that to our advantage. So there's a great life lesson here. Here is the object we're starting with. We're hoping to get to that. In fact, we want that. So if there's something you want in life, my advice is just make it happen. Now, there might be some consequences. We have to deal with the consequences, but let's just go for it. Let's go for that. So what I'm going to do is take this object and make those six good crossings and see what happens. All right, crossing number one. There it is at the top. But I might just push down the bottom stuff just to give myself some room. Crossing number two, crossing number three. All right, a little bit tight, but the bottom has got some uh, messy stuff going on. I'll keep pushing it down. Not worry about the consequences later on. Just get what I want first. Three good crossings so far. Crossing number four. Uh-oh, getting tight. Crossing number five. I need some more room. Push it down, ignoring what's happening on the bottom. My eyes, my eyes are a bit closed to that. Crossing number six. All right. It is somewhat scrunched, but I have made for myself, right at the top here, six very good crossings. Six crossings. My thumb and forefinger are going to hold on to that position for dear life and never let go of the six good things. So that's what I want in life, six good crossings, but there are my consequences. Okay, let's deal with it. Um, I'm just going to see if I can untangle that mess. Just blindly just try stuff, see if I can loosen it up, push it through itself maybe. Well, that's a bit looser. Uh, can I do it again? Loosen it up. Huh, looking a bit looser still. Uh, still looking a bit twisted and contorted. Uh, play with it, play with it, play with it. Just, just play with it. Oh, <laughs> and magically, look at that. That tangled mess at the, at the bottom half there just disappeared. So above my fingers, I've got six good crossings. Below my fingers, they have good space to make those six good crossings look better. So let me loosen this up. Let's just make it look pretty. Uh, let's unscrunch those six grid crossings. Not doing any work here, just making it look neater. Neater, neater, neater. Just turn it upside down because it's actually easier to play on this end. And I can see, voila, there is my beautiful braid with nice flat strands. Six good crossings. Okay, it's not quite as neat as that one, but if I played a bit further, it'd make it look neat. Everything's beautiful. No twists in the strands. Everything's stable. Gorgeous. Gotta love this mathematics. There's a lot of deep mathematics here, which we'll talk about. But of course, the next question I'm now wondering about, if this was a strand with or three, three strands with no fixed ends, is it possible to make a braid of four strands with no fixed ends? Now we're talking.